This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon, I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Flooding and heavy rains in Kenya have led to a sharp rise in water levels around Kenya's Lake Naivasha. Flower farms, hotels and ho homesteads were flooded. This is attributed to high siltation in the water body. Experts say the freshwater lake was becoming shallower at a rate of three centimeters every year because of sediment from catchment areas and ongoing projects being swept in. In the last two months, the lake levels have risen to the highest levels ever at nearly 1,900 meters above sea levels since 1906. Lake Naivasha, Riparian Association Secretary Silas Wanjala, says the water body was one of the most erratic in the region. Locals say the rise in water levels had left a trail of destruction, flooding hotels and nearby farms at a rate never witnessed in the last 30 years. Residents are advised to protect the area through sustainable farming. Charity organizations in Algeria are providing assistance to the homeless with their precarious situation amid the COVID-19 pandemic. These associations are helping the homeless in Algeria by patrolling the street at night to find the homeless and transport them to specialized care homes where they provide adequate care and protection. Minister of National Solidarity, Family and Women, Carter Kriko, says this initiative aims at helping people living rough across Algerian cities. She urged citizens to report on the whereabouts of the homeless to help authorities locate and assist them. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Health Ministry for the United Nations backed government in Libya says seven Tripoli residents have been killed in landmine blasts in the nation's capital. The victims are reported to include a woman and members of the security forces. Three members of the Interior Ministry's demining department were also wounded in the blasts in the Ain Zara and Wadi Al Arib areas. Human Rights Watch said a week ago fighters linked to General Khalifa Haftar's forces had laid mines as they withdrew from the south of the capital. Two persons were killed last week by explosions in residential areas. That is in a news brief at 4. Join us again at 5 for our full newscast. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adem.